It's the number one issue preventing students from seeking a college education. The biggest issue that I think students, and I, you know, just in these workshops, I asked them, most, almost every hand went up that finances were the number one issue for them. How are they going to be able to afford it? According to the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, college tuition increased in the U.S. by 63 percent between January 2006 and July of 2016. Meanwhile, tuition at the University of Guam rose 5% in 2016, after increasing for the first time in five years in 2015. College Pathway Program Director Leah Beth Nahalawa said the college fair aims to help high school juniors and seniors navigate obstacles preventing them from getting their college degree. We want to prepare them early. We want them to um, apply for those scholarships and financial aid early and we want them to focus on writing those essays so that we can uh, you know prepare them as they you know look into going to uh, colleges and universities not just here but also uh, off island. However, roughly half of Guam's public school seniors don't plan to pursue a college education. So what we've learned uh, in our in our surveys is that you know, first of all um, we've got about um, I would say maybe 40 percent of our students who have some type of plan to go to college uh, when they once they get their diploma usually it's UOG that they specify or Guam Community College and then you have a small percentage of those who will, uh, are interested in going to college off island but we also have about 40 percent 45 percent of our students who haven't uh, completed and, and identified their plan by the time they graduate. Superintendent John Fernandez said these students may be planning to enter the workforce or may be intimidated by the college application process. Roughly 1,300 public school juniors and seniors are attending the GDOE College Fair at the Hyatt this week. The fair educates students on the admissions process, financial aid, scholarships, and college choices. And as we give them that information, hopefully they will you know, not be as intimidated, not be as scared uh, to apply. And they We're so lucky to have this program funded by a consolidated a Title V grant so that we can continue to do this for our kids. The three-day fair ends on Thursday. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Paza.